Hello everyone, this is Daniel Nunez with OneStopEnergies.com and today what I'm going to do is a little compare and contrast against the vortex coil design that we've created and this regular type of solenoid using the same type of Litz wiring and the same soldering of the wire ends. So we're looking at a stable input 3.170 multiplied by 0 0.066 will give you the wattage. We see we're under one watt of power so the meter is not able to detect the amperage or the overall wattage. So it's just saying zero. That's the wattage input. We're looking at 214 foot candles of light and we also have wireless potential over the top of the vortex coil and also along the bottom of the, the vortex coil as well. So we're getting wireless energy transfer as an added bonus. Not too much on the sides but we definitely have it on the top and bottom. So let's go ahead and compare and contrast to see what the regular solenoid allows us to achieve. So now we've gone ahead and wired up the classic solenoid design using the same wattage input and it's pretty much giving us just around the same intensity on those LEDs, not much difference there. But the main difference here is absolutely no wireless potential at all. And this is kind of what you would expect for 3.1 volts of power. So generally, you would need a lot more power to get any kind of wireless potential. So the magnetic field that's present, most of the energy here is being expelled outwards. And there is no focus into the center. Now when we use these geometries, they focus the energy into the center, maximizing how much energy you have available for wireless transfer and inductive heating and different things like that. You can also excite plasma with these vortex coils because of that maximum compression of energy in through the center. So what we're seeing here is a very basic proof of concept that shows that just by simply re-engineering this type of design into this one, we're able to maximize efficiency. So these toroidal systems exist all around us and by using these understandings to our advantage we can re-engineer a whole new breed of far more efficient technologies from the ground up. So thank you all for watching. I hope this brings some clarity to vortex coils and how they work and I look forward to your comments, questions and feedback in the comments section below. Thank you all for your support and blessings.